So this is honestly one of the easiest ways to lower your eBay costs as well as your reselling costs in general. And most people don't have a clue that you can do this. Hey, it's Don. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about lowering your eBay costs as well as your overall reselling costs. Now, I'm going to give you a 100% real way to lower and save money all the time on pretty much everything you're doing out there in the reselling world. Now, I've talked about having a great relationship with your bank for a very long time. Keeping money in the bank. If you have a business, you should have a bank account for that business specifically. If you're a bigger business, chances are you'll have a couple of different bank accounts. If you've got payroll, chances are you may even have three different bank accounts like we do. We have multiple bank accounts just for our business structure. Now once you've dealt with banks and things like that, they can offer you a lot of good bonuses that non-business bank accounts usually don't get the, the aspect of. Now one of the best things you can get from a relationship with your bank is a letter of guarantee. Now I've talked about this before. Letter of guarantee just basically means that I'm able to purchase product and not have to pay it until I've sold enough to actually pay it with the product itself. So basically, I can get product delivered without having any money out there. The letter of guarantee guarantees if I don't pay it, the bank will handle it for me as well. They will cover any losses that the business I'm buying merchandise to turn around and resell from uh, will get their money back. Now, the best option out there to save money all the time on eBay fees and everything else you buy is to get a cash back charge card. Now Huntington Bank for an example, one that we use as well, they offer a cash back for the first 12 months of 3% of all of your purchases. You don't have to do anything. And they do also have a free one at that aspect. So I don't have to pay an annual fee to get that card that offers me a 3% cash back. Now that's not given to everybody. You have to have a good standing with your bank usually. That 3% only is for the first 12 months. Other than that, you would get 1.5%. So if you're spending 1000 bucks, you're getting 30 bucks off of that. You're getting $30 back at the end of the day with a 3%. Now, I know that may not sound like a bunch, but if you're a bigger business like us, you may spend five, six, seven, eight, ten thousand dollars $10,000 in buying merchandise for your business throughout the year. That's a lot of money. That adds up very quickly. That's $300 a month at a $10,000 purchase or expenses. So if you're spending $2,000 on Amazon, eBay, and all that combined in fees, final value, list fees, you get part of that back. It saves you money. And then, again, it may not sound like a ton for everybody, but when you add it all up at the end of the year, it's a lot of money. I try to buy things where I can use my card as well. Large amounts of the bulk that we purchase may come from an auction or for somebody else that takes charge card. Everything that you buy with that charge card can be covered under that 3% first 12 months or 1.5% after that 12 months. Now, I'm going to tell you a way to get past that and keep getting 3% for an extended length of time in a few moments here. These are all legit. We're not doing anything screwy. This is all something that would truthfully and honestly be available to most people out there right now. Something everybody out there should take advantage of if you're running a business. Now, I know in some cases, if it's a routine payment where every month there's an amount taken out of your card, some banks may not allow that to be covered under the 3%. To get past that, to still get those payments counted on there, all you got to do is put a permanent payment method on your account for eBay, Amazon, or whatever the case may be, and just pay it ahead of time a day or two before their usual payment processing. Just double check on when that is to make sure that you're going to be covered. That way you just manually pop it in. It only takes a few moments and you're saving money and you can still get the credit from all of your eBay fees. It doesn't take much to have $1,500 in eBay fees. Don't forget, your postage is covered under that too. So if you're spending $1,000 a month in eBay fees, $2,000 a month in eBay fees, you're shipping out $3,000 worth of costs for the, the post office itself or FedEx or whatever, that's $5,000 worth of money. That's $150 extra each month just for those two things. 
and that may just be one site. If you're on a whole bunch of sites, all of those fees that you're paying actually can be accounted for that 3% too. Again, it's something I would recommend to everybody out there. Get in good, get yourself a business bank account and use this to your benefit. Big businesses, corporate America does this as well whenever they are able to do it. So that's a way to bypass it. If you're buying supplies, bags, shipping supplies, any of that kind of stuff, use that card. If you go to Walmart and you need to pick up something because you ran out tape or something else, use the card. I'm telling you, it will all add up. So what we do is we work everything around how we're going to pay for it, how we're going to buy it. We do buy a lot of things off, say, Amazon for the business or even eBay sometimes, like uh, postcard sleeves, record mailers, or whatever the heck you're going to need for your business. Again, that's all going to be covered if you purchase it through your cash back bank card. This is something you should be looking into because there's nothing to it. You're going to have to make these purchases and these payments no matter what all the time on a monthly basis. So why not get something back on it? Why not save a little money off the top there when you're doing this? Now, as I said earlier, there's a way to keep that introductory offer going for that 3% to get that cash back at 3% instead of the 1.5%. Now, we bank with several different banks. Every 12 months, you can easily switch up those. So we would go to our other bank and get an introductory offer for a card from that bank itself. So you'll be using the second bank for the next year. So you've got two years right there at the introductory offer. Again, there's nothing wrong. This isn't illegal. It may sound a little screwy at first thought, but why not? There's not much to it to be saving hundreds and hundreds of dollars. If you do this constantly and religiously, you could be saving, again, thousands of dollars every year in your expenses, in your purchases, in your fees, the whole works. And paying attention to the rules and following them to the T, you only have to have a 12-month gap with most of the introductory offers. So let's say I ran out of my introductory offer. I went to a different bank for 12 more months. 12 months in one day means that I can go back to the original bank and then go ahead and get my introductory offer for opening up a new card. You cancel them or just open up another one. As long as you're not using it, there's no big deal. Now, I know a question that always comes up when I say this. Well, what about financing fees? What about the charge card fees? Well, if you pay them off as soon as the bill comes in, there is no fee with most of them. There is no minimum with most of these types of, of charge cards. So I'm not going to be charged a minimum service fee or anything else like that. There is no yearly fee as well for most of these, including the ones that we have. So it's a no cost for me. The only thing it costs me is setting it up. Now, if you hunt around when you're doing this, when you're trying to figure out which bank, which type of card to get, there are some introductory offers that are even better than that or may give you other types of bonuses. Again, every dime in your business matters. Why on earth would you want to spend any more than you have to? Now, if your business is doing reasonably well, you've been doing this for a little length of time, chances are you could easily be spending $5,000 a month between postage costs final value fees, and purchasing merchandise and supplies. So 150 bucks extra each month is a huge plus in my personal opinion. That's $1,800 free in your pocket every single year. Again, the postage cost, the buyer is paying for us. So I'm getting money back on postage even though I don't have to pay it. So I'm getting 3% back on something someone else has paid for. I'm just using their money to purchase the postage at the end of the day. So this is just one of the many ways that you can legally and easily save money reselling. $1,800 to $2,000 a year is a lot of money for most average sellers out there now. That's a good house payment and utility bills for an entire month for most people out there. And if you're bigger, like us, you're selling a lot more, you're doing different things, you're on multiple platforms, you may be spending ten dollars or $15,000 a month in fees, in purchases for merchandise. If you buy wholesale, you could be buying thousands of dollars worth of merchandise all at once. And again, it might be a repeat that you do constantly over and over and over again. There are ways to set this up where you can actually get cash back on your personal purchases as well too, groceries or anything else like that. Again, it's simply a no-brainer all the way across the board. It's free. It's easy. It's simple to do. 
So again, look into this. Look into your bank. Get a bank account if you don't have one just for your business. Build up a reputation with your bank. There are tons of different options you can get from your bank that will help your business. This is just one of the most simplest ones. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. My game, I'm a private eye. Call me anytime. After school, that is. When I play private eye, I come fully equipped with Mattel Snub Nose 38, Snap Draw Shoulder Holster, and the fastest wheels in town. When you play private eye, you have to be fast. Fast on your feet, and fast on the draw. Ready for action on a moment's notice. Practice target shooting whenever you can. Load up with greeny stickum caps and Mattel shooting shells. If you want to play Private Eye, get this Mattel gun and holster set. It comes complete with wallet, badge, and ID card. Get extra greeny stickum caps, too. You can tell it's Mattel. It's swell.